receive your wheel well liner kit, what you have is the two parts nested together. Hardware kit will likely be banded in between the units. So your first step is simply cutting the bands. And separating the units. Each wheel well liner is marked so as to designate what side of the vehicle it goes on. Left hand for driver's side, right hand for passenger side. So your first step is really just to remove any major debris out of the wheel well area so there's a clean install. Your hardware kit includes two types of speed nut, two push-in fasteners, and eight screws for installing your wheel wells. The nice thing about the installation is that you don't need to remove the wheels off the truck in order to install the wheel well liners. The first of the U-shaped speed nuts slides over a frame cross member like so. Second one on the back member. The next set of speed nuts install in the lower slots inside the wheel well. Each wheel well is marked with either left hand or right hand telling you what side of the truck to go on. The flange goes towards the back. The wheel well liner simply fits over the white of the wheel and is lifted up into place. Your push pins will go in last. You'll pre-position or pre-insert each of the four screws on each side first. First one comes down to the front corner. Second one in the rear. Third one is underneath on the cross member. Fourth one at the back. Finally, the large push pins feed through and install on the sheet metal. It may be necessary to loosen the lower screw when putting in the push pin. So then just repeat the process on the other side of the truck for the other wheel well liner. If you have any questions, consult your installation instructions.